Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. And in front of you, you can see there's an accessory here, and this is the Digital Innovation Speaker Dock for Android. So it comes with uh, the dock there and the remote control. And I have a bunch of pictures in my image gallery so you can see the entire dock. I guess I'll do a little bit. Let me unplug the back so I'll pull everything out. I'll do a little bit of a walk around with it, but here's the, uh, the dock with a couple of uh, stereo speakers in the front. Um, you'll see there's an indicator light on here. Here's the two plugs. You have both a 3.5mm headset jack and a micro USB port for charging. And then you have some controls over here. Uh, volume up and down, play, pause, power, and then forward and back. And then on the back we have a, a woofer, I believe, a subwoofer here. And then the power plug. And then we have some feet, the rubberized feet on the bottom there. Okay, now let me plug this back in. Got it set up here. So there's the power. I'll turn the power back off. I'm going to show you, um, and so you can also hear a couple of the uh, devices and see how they sound since it gets not showing up in pictures. This is my uh, Galaxy Nexus, as you can see here, and I have loaded on it the Sonar app, which is in uh, it's in beta right now. So there we go, we're in Sonar Beta, I have uh, version 0.81 on there right now. And what this is used for is to control the, uh, the dock. So as you can see here, it recognizes what apps I have on my device for music. And it has Spotify, Slacker, Listen, Amazon MP3, and Google Music. So I simply plug in the headphone jack and the micro USB. That's just to charge it up. And then you select what you want to listen to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and put in uh, Spotify. Oh, turn the dock on. Sorry. So the dock is found. And uh, I guess i got to log into Spotify. Just like Spotify off to test out uh, RDO and then put Spotify back on. So here's my playlist, Spotify. Let's just go ahead and go to Classic Rock. And uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, let's do some Foreigner, okay. Actually, do I have the new Van Halen in here? Let's see. I don't know if I have the new Van Halen on Spotify or not yet. But, uh, let's see. I'll go ahead and put that in the dock. And then I can control it since it is docked. And you can kind of see my volume going up there. I'm, I'm good. With his head hung low, couldn't get a ticket. It was a sold out show. Heard the roar of the crowd. You see the pay, play pause button worked. Do you think play. Here? The remote for uh, play pause, and let's go continue on. Oh, he could fit to the sea. And then there's the mute. And there's the skip forward, skip back. So as you can see, the dock works quite well, the Galaxy Nexus. Um, some of these apps I don't have on uh, Landscape Portrait, but I can switch that around as well on the ROMs. Uh, it gets quite loud, as you can hear. Um, so the nice thing is, it just fits in this slot, and it's pretty much uh, universal, right? It's a universal dock for any Android device. Uh, it depends on the Sonar app. It doesn't always work with all the devices. But uh, it just fits in there. You can set it in there. It fits nicely. And then I also figured, why not test it with some of my other phones, right? So here we have the uh, HTC Radar. Now, there's no app, at least I haven't really looked for one, but there's currently no app for the, uh, for the dock, right? Maybe they'll come up with one eventually. But anyway, if we, uh, we can control it all through the phone itself. So let's... Now, the uh, Windows phone has always have very high volumes and really rocking, so I am... Let's see, this is at, uh, 
rewind that. This is the new uh, Van Halen tattoo song, and it's currently at 11. So I'm going to go up to 30, and you can hear it. It kind of gets distorted when it gets up to 30. Thirty about blows the speakers. I can feel the vibration coming off there. So about twenty seems to be uh, pretty good on Windows Phone. Windows Phone does have some great audio, as you can see. Now is the final test. I know it doesn't have a micro USB, so it won't charge it like the other ones. But let's try. Uh, let's go ahead and try my iPhone out as well, just to see if the audio part works on everything. So let's see. Let's go to um, Spotify on here. Let's look for the same classic rock. And go down to Foreigner again. As you, as you can hear, it sounds great. Actually, the, the iPhone right now sounds clear. Maybe I'll have to test out some different songs, but this one sounds great. So as you can see, it's the DI speaker dock for Android that works with also iOS and Windows Phone. And uh, actually, in my opinion, it sounds better with some of these other devices, uh, maybe more optimized for the audio. So uh, Android sounds good, but uh, I, I don't know. I like the uh, the audio on the iPhone as well. So um, the great the dock is available for ninety nine ninety nine, and uh, if you've got a bunch of different devices like I do, it seems like a great accessory. Thanks for watching.